Thank you for attending this public information meeting regarding the proposed widening of State Road 40 in Volusia County. This brief presentation provides a broad overview of issues the Florida Department of Transportation has addressed during the design phase of the project. The presentation also includes information on the recommended improvements. As you have probably seen, FDOT staff and design team members are here to discuss your concerns and answer your questions. Team members can be distinguished by their blue name tags. There are also numerous graphics and documents on display for your review. Please feel free to discuss any project issues you have with the design team. Your input is very important to us. The design phase for this project began in July 2012. The design is approximately 70% complete and is expected to finish in October 2014. The project is currently not funded for purchasing right-of-way or for actual construction. The project begins about one-half mile west of State Road 11 and extends east for approximately 7.6 miles to Cone Road. Three bridges along the corridor span the Little Haw Creek and branches of Middle Haw Creek. There are conservation easement lands along the central portion of the corridor. State Road 40 is also designated as an official hurricane evacuation route. The Florida Department of Transportation has long studied the feasibility of widening State Road 40 from Ocala to Ormond Beach. In 1990, the FDOT completed a Project Development and Environment, or PD&E, study for widening this particular stretch of State Road 40 through Volusia County. The original PD&E study was approved by the Federal Highway Administration. In 2011 and 2012, FDOT conducted a formal PD&E reevaluation to ensure that no new environmental, cultural, or historical impacts would be created with a four-lane widening of State Road 40. The limits of the PD&E reevaluation extended from US 17 in Barberville to Cone Road, a distance of approximately 14 miles. The FDOT has created two distinct design segments. Tonight's meeting is for design segment two from west of State Road 11 to Cone Road. State Road 40 is currently a two-lane rural highway located within 200 feet of right-of-way. The asphalt is in good condition since it was recently resurfaced. This stretch of State Road 40 does not contain any stormwater treatment facilities or defined conveyance swales. The proposed four-lane typical section will reuse the existing two lanes of pavement as the two new westbound lanes. The existing shoulders will remain in place. Two new eastbound lanes with inside and outside shoulders will be built on the south side of the existing pavement. A 40-foot wide grassed median will separate the lanes. Left turn lanes and paved median crossovers will be provided for access to adjacent side streets and properties and for U-turns. The median openings are shown on the graphics on display tonight. Volusia County is partnering with FDOT to include the design and construction of a 12-foot wide multi-use asphalt trail along the south side of State Road 40. Drainage swales will be provided to convey stormwater runoff to off-site retention areas for water quality treatment and attenuation. Most of the proposed improvements will be constructed within the existing 200-foot right-of-way. However, off-site retention areas will need to be acquired. Additionally, a small amount of property will also need to be acquired on the south side of the road. The areas of property acquisition are shown on the aerial display graphics. There are 14 specific drainage basins along this stretch of State Road 40. A design team has evaluated numerous potential locations for stormwater treatment ponds and the preferred pond locations are shown on the graphics on display tonight. There are numerous box culverts and cross drains located under the roadway. Since two new lanes are being added, each of these culverts will need to be extended. This project is located within a delicate environment and requires coordination with numerous permitting agencies. The primary agencies are the St. John's River Water Management District, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. The design team will be submitting the necessary permit applications to these agencies for review and approval. All three existing bridges will be completely replaced as part of this project. The new bridges will be lengthened and raised slightly to provide dry benches or berms next to the creeks so smaller animals can easily cross beneath the bridges. 
A new wildlife crossing will be constructed within the conservation easement lands so that larger animals such as black bear, deer, and hogs can pass safely under the roadway. To provide enough height for the large box culvert crossing, State Road 40 will need to be raised approximately 6 feet. Extensive amounts of fencing will be constructed along both sides of the road, guiding animals to the crossing. The crossing and associated fencing will not affect access to any private property. We have an environmental specialist here tonight that will be able to answer any specific questions about this issue. The traffic signal at State Road 11 will be completely replaced to accommodate the improvements. The existing street lighting at the intersection will also be replaced. All roadway signs throughout the corridor will be replaced. This project affects many people and many different agencies. Since 2012, our design team has had close coordination with the key stakeholders, such as the various regulatory agencies. The team has reached out to residents and property owners through the use of newsletters, websites, and public meetings like this one. Public information meetings are held to provide information, gather comments, and answer your questions. An initial public information meeting was held a year ago when the project was in the initial stages of final design. The meeting was well attended and we received some very good input and comments. We have tried to incorporate, where feasible, the suggestions we received from that initial meeting. One of the most effective ways to stay informed about the project is to visit the project website at www.cflroads.com. For this project, select State Road 40 from the road pull-down and hit search. Under the Design tab, click on the project number 240837-1. Here you will find information specific to this widening project. Since the design began in July 2012, extensive data gathering such as surveying of topographic features, geotechnical testing, traffic counts, wetland determinations, and investigations for the presence of protected wildlife have been completed. Our engineers are approximately 70% complete with the design of the roadway features, including the off-site retention areas, three bridges, and wildlife crossings. The current schedule is for the design, permitting, and construction plans to be completed in October 2014. Right-of-way acquisition and construction of the improvements are currently not funded. We appreciate your attendance at tonight's public information meeting. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to talk with anyone from the design team. If you would like to provide your comment in writing, we have forms available for you. You can leave your written comment with us tonight, or you can take the form with you and fill it out at your convenience. In order for your comments to become part of the public record, we must receive them by April 21st, 2014. We will respond in writing to every written comment we receive. This meeting is being held in accordance with Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and Title VIII of the Civil Rights Act of 1968 as amended. Anyone who feels he or she has been discriminated against with regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status, may express their concerns by contacting the Florida Department of Transportation. Forms are available for you with both the local and state Title VI coordinator contact information. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. We hope that we have answered most of your questions and addressed your concerns. But if you have any further questions about this project, please feel free to contact either Taleb Shams, the project manager with FDOT, or Andy DeWitt, the consultant project manager. Thank you again for your interest in this project and for attending tonight's meeting.